Seeksters. Hi YouTube. Hope your day is going well. Today's video is going to be all about the Nordstrom anniversary sale. Now if this is your first time on this channel, hi my name is Chi Chi and I am the blogger behind SuppleChic.com and SuppleChic TV where I cover beauty, fashion, and lifestyle from the curve perspective. So if you're into try on hauls, styling videos, and the occasional vlog, then please consider hitting that subscribe button down below. So the Nordstrom anniversary sale is less than a month away and if you're like me, you're getting excited. You guys know that for the last, I think two to three years, I've always covered the sale. It's one of the best sales okay if you're looking for quality on a budget it's one of the best sales out there put a link in the description bar so you can get all the details on the Nordstrom anniversary sale all right so I wanted to talk about my best and worst purchases from the sale I have been shopping the sale for the last three years I believe and I've gotten some great pieces that I would recommend any day and any time. I've also <sighs> wasted my money. So I want to talk to you guys about the things that I loved and the things that just weren't a great return on my investment. Right. So I thought I would start with the worst things that I purchased and then I would go into my best purchases. So the catalog has come out for the sale and I so when thinking back on my purchases over the last three years, I would say there's one catalog on uh, one category where I feel like I didn't get the most return on my investment and I would say it would be it would be in the shoe category. I wear a size 11, sometimes 11 and a half, sometimes 12. And so Nordstrom is known for having those extended sizes and whenever the sale comes out, I'm like a kid in the candy store because literally they offer size 12 and 13 during the sale. Like during the regular year, um, sometimes you see some 12s, sometimes you see some 13s, but during the sales, they tend to have a higher percentage of size 12s and size 13s. But I think in this category, I need to take a chill pill. This first pair I got last year during the sale. It's a gorgeous cobalt blue pump. Um, it's made out of like the most butteriest suede. It's from Mark Fisher. And I think I've only worn this shoe like one time. I feel like I'm gonna get my wear out of this this fall though because color is definitely coming back. But let's just say I think I paid around the $100 mark for this shoe. And for one time, the um, cost per wear is $100 because I only wore it one time. So another shoe in this category would be these leopard booties, Chelsea boots. I have the same boot in black and I've worn the heck out of that pair. Definitely got my cost per wear on that pair, but not so much the leopard pair. So what is my takeaway from shopping the Nordstrom sales for the last three years? Chi Chi, don't buy trendy shoes. So the next thing that I, um, want to say that was my worst one of my worst purchases from the sale it would be this t-shirt i think i got like two of these last year and this is the t-shirt their white t-shirt from the bp line first of all um last year they came out with plus in bp so kudos to nordstrom for that um but this t-shirt from the BP line is definitely a no compared to the Caslon t-shirts which were like four or five dollars I think even three dollars more than these the quality is just up like night and day like this is made out of that weird like suspecty cotton that kind of feels slightly plasticky um it just it's I think I feel like it shrunk a little bit it just it just looks really like really cheap you know once you wash it the first time literally so it looks like a three dollar shirt from forever 21 so what I learned from this little escapade into that line or into yeah into that line is that you want to stick to the mid price point I feel like that is where you will get the best return for your investment. And then the last kind of category that I feel like 
um, I really will not be spending money on. It's gonna be in the outerwear category. Specifically coats. The coats again are great quality. I don't think I've had any issues with any coats that I've picked up from the sale, but I don't think it's worth it. Just like with the shoes, I kind of went with, you know, a little bit of a trend mindset, mindset when I was ordering my coats. Um, coats is definitely an area that as a plus size girl, I feel like we just have limited options on when it comes to like what's on trend, what is very now, what is very modern. I feel like we always get stuck with like black all of the time. So when I see coats that actually are not black, that are updated, I tend to like shoot first, ask questions later. And so I've learned to not do that anymore either. So. For example, this is a perfectly gorgeous cinnamon colored coat. It's like a coat again. This is like a wool. It's lightweight. It's perfect for fall. And this is kind of like a sweater material. I got this in a size 1X. It's from the Kenneth Cole brand. It's basically brand new. And I included this in the closet sale that just ended. Um, I probably only wore it once again. Um, I included it in the closet sale. I'm probably going to add it to Poshmark or maybe sell it to um, ThreadUp. But I just didn't wear it enough. To the, and then now I'm kind of like over it. So there's nothing wrong with this coat. Again, it's a gorgeous coat. But I'm someone who, because of what I do, um, I like to keep up with what's, what's on trend, what's now, what's modern. You know, so... I've moved on to other things that I want. So my best purchases I've talked about ad nauseum on this channel. I will include a link to a blog post where I talked about the Nordstrom anniversary sale and my best purchases from last year. They're pretty much the same as this year. And what all of them had in common with it, they were classic pieces in neutral colors um, and that they really, really lasted me like leather, Doing this sale is a must. Spend a little bit more and invest on some like classic leather footwear, invest in some classic leather jackets. Those type of things to me are where you will get your definite cost per wear in this sale. So of course you know, since the catalog is out, I had to take a peek to see what was popping. What are the initial things that caught my eye as soon as I opened the catalog? color, menswear, and elevated basics. Okay, so I know I just talked to you guys about, you know, my bad decisions when it came to the sale, but the first page of the catalog literally is filled with color statement coats, color blocking, but color blocking within the same color family, so not like the you know, the color blocking that was hip like six or seven years ago, kind of more of like a monochrome styled color blocking, right? So if you don't have a statement coat, I would definitely say you want to check out the sale and see what they have. What I love about the sale is that, again, they tend to, the Nordstrom in-house brands like Halogen and Caslon, they tend to, and even brands like Kenneth Cole and like Lucky Brand, when they make things in straight size, they also make them in plus for the sale. So if you're looking for a statement coat, if all you have is like black coats, you may want to invest in like one. I would say mustard, in my opinion, is kind of like a neutral color. So I would go in that direction. So the next category that I noticed a lot of was the menswear category. So think of heritage prints, plaid, check, tweed, those kinds of like wool, those kinds of like very heavy, very fall type prints. Spent a lot of time mixing those prints as well. Just like they were mixing the colors, they were mixing the prints. They also threw in a lot of animal prints in there as well. Snake skin, leopard, all of that popping as well. So the two things that I would buy into would definitely be the croc um, loafers from Mark Fisher, especially if you wear extended sizes, if you were an 11 and a 12, 
definitely invest in this. It'll be perfect for work. Um, and it will go with a hundred billion things in your wardrobe. I have a few um, pieces from Mark Fisher. My favorite um, Chelsea boots are by my Mark Fisher. So I definitely say this is somewhere that I would invest my money into. The next thing I would um, definitely invest in is the halogen coat. In the catalog, it says that they really took their time to um, invest in their in-house brands and invest in elevated essentials. And I'll definitely say if you're looking to, you know, elevate your work wardrobe, elevate your weekend style, this is somewhere to invest in. They have, they always have like cashmere sweaters, really nice wool sweaters, really get great t-shirts. I am a huge fan of the, I don't know what they call it, the scoop neck t-shirts by Caslon. Every single year I've bought, but those two brands, I cannot, I cannot, I cannot <laughs> say enough good things about. So when, if you like a little sass, a little statement, a little drama, two things that caught my eye were the Jessica Simpson snakeskin boots. To me, Jessica Simpson is another brand that's kind of like mid price point. They always strive to keep up with the trends, but they keep things affordable. I would definitely jump on those snakeskin um, over the knee boots by Jessica Simpson. Snakeskin like leopard, it's basically a neutral. You can pair it with anything. The second thing that caught my eye was the halogen leopard skirt if you have not jumped on the leopard skirt trend girl jump on it you can wear it now in the summer with a cute little t-shirt and you can definitely wear it in the fall with a black turtleneck i also saw that the nordstrom pjs are back in the sale this year i'm wearing a last year's version Last year's version was made out of like a cotton jersey fabric. I've worn it a bunch of times. I've washed it a bunch of times. Um, if you're someone who sleeps in a t-shirt, it's just great to at least have a pair or two or three pairs of really good PJs because you never know, you know, when you have to sleep over somewhere or maybe, you know, you're going on a girl's trip. You know, you want to have at least one or two or three pairs of good PJs. Onto things that are completely unrelated to fashion. If you are bougie on a budget, there's definitely three things from the catalog I think you should invest in. First are the Deep Teak um, candle sets. They're super cute. Every blogger owns a Deep Teak or a Jo Malone candle. Get you some. They scream bougie, okay? Um, the next thing that I saw that caught my eye from the sale was definitely the La Mer um, Mini Miracles. It's under $100. If you know about La Mer and you know how much they cost, you know that that's a good price point for La Mer. Um, I've used La Mer, uh, like I said, like that, I don't know what they put in that stuff. Like, I don't know. I don't know what they put in it. I don't know. But it does do some it does do some wonders on your skin, child. It, it's worth the price. I can tell you that much. So the Mini Miracles gives you like mini um, versions of some of their products, and then you can get to test it and try it out for yourself and see if it's worth investing in the full size product. And of course, if you love lipstick. NARS also has a set in the sale as well. If you wanna go ahead and invest in some high quality, super pigmented lipsticks, I definitely recommend you check out the NARS um, set as well during the sale. Definitely let me know down below what was your best and or worst purchase from the sale. Do you even shop the sale? Do you even care, sis? Let us know down below. Are you a Nordstrom Rack fan? I understand, girl. I understand. Um, if you like this video, share it with a friend. Links to all the things that I mentioned and I talked about will be down below, of course. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, stay blessed. I don't know if it's the 20s when they did the silky dresses, but it is this gorgeous, ruffled,